Thank you. Careful, so don't fall out. Mm, thank you very much. Why don't you go down to the other step here? Are you listening? Yeah, we're coming. You good? I would describe Xavier as just a loving, great guy, always puts everybody above him, and definitely a family man. First and foremost, I'm a husband, I'm married to Tamia Tillman. I'm a father, I'm a brother, I'm a teammate, I'm a player, I'm a student, athlete. The thing that stands out the most is how he's able to juggle everything he has on his plate and all the different roles that he does have to play. Like he's still with his team, he's still with his family. They had a night off and he still we packed in the car as soon as they got out of practice and we drove home so he could see one of his sister's high school games. Like he, he makes sure he's there for everybody while still handling his business and getting good grades and making sure he does his chores around the house. I don't know how he does it, but he manages to pull it off. I just try to stay present in the moment, whatever I'm doing. I try to stay locked in as much as I can. Uh, if I'm at home, I, I'm usually not looking at any film or, or work, worrying about any schoolwork because I usually get that done early on. If I'm at the gym, I'm not really worried about my family. I'm just trying to focus on getting better. Or if I'm at school, I'm not really texting my wife or, or watching any film, I'm just focused on schoolwork. So just trying to stay as locked in as I can, uh, determining on what I'm doing. I don't think we really appreciate how much he, he really has done and how successful he, he's been and, and just how he takes care of his business. Uh, he's super low maintenance, but if you really sit back and think about what he has to do on a day in, day out basis for him to even get to practice, I think is very impressive and uh, I give him a lot of credit for that. I, I try to give him my all every time I step foot on the court. I try to be as tough and as physical as I can to let my teammates know that in order to win in the Big Ten, that's what we have to do. We have to be the most physical team out there, the most mentally tough team out there. Sometimes I, I'll get into the game and I'll be so locked in on the game, having so much fun, the crowd, my teammates and stuff like that, that when we do the high fives, we come back around and I see them and kind of like, Boom, okay, this is real world. These are your people that not only you're providing for, but that who you're protecting. And it's, and it's more so like, okay, I see you guys. Give me a second, I'm gonna go into the locker room and I'll come back out to make sure you guys are good type of thing. When I see them, they kind of bring me back into reality. Coming to college, he really focused in on his responsibilities and seeing how he can provide and help not only his family, but the people around him. So I feel like just being here has helped him focus in on some of those leadership skills and some of those, we call it, his grown man stuff that he deals with. Overall, I've just evolved into a better person and it doesn't go unnoticed with all the help that I had with the coaches and my teammates, our academic people, the tutors, my wife, everybody put in a lot of effort with me trying to help me be the best person I could be. The thing that has blown me away the most is his academics because the first year that we were together, that was not his strong suit. Once we found out about Yanni, he kind of buckled down and it's just been like a constant growth. But for him to be doing as well as he is in school just blows my mind with everything he has to juggle. Since I got here, she's been my rock. She's been like that one stable person who you know, through the good and the bad, she's always there to cheer me up. And she's always there to encourage me to do stuff. Like, she encourages me to, to stay longer at the gym, or she encouraged me to go back to the Smith and do some more schoolwork and stuff like that. Or she encouraged me to go to class on days I feel like I really don't want to go. She's the person that's my motivator, the person that always keeps me going. Just keep chugging along because it is important, and we both want to have a degree to show Yanni hey, like both your parents went to college because neither of my parents went or graduated. So for me, I want it. And he just has always been super supportive of that. So he doesn't just be like, okay, well, I need you to stay home and raise our family type of thing. He knows it's important and he pushes for it.
So a big thing about the Smith, they had this wall of uh, academic All-Americans, and that's a huge motivator for me. You have to be an All-American on the court, and then in the classroom, you really have to take care of your business and have over like a 3.5 GPA. Freshman year, I really wasn't playing that much, so I kind of just went about my business on the academic side, making sure that I took care of that. As I got better and better on the court, it kind of made it a lot easier for me to have that goal in mind of being an academic All-American just because my grades are already there now. I just had to pick up the basketball side. And what that really meant was just more and more time in the gym, uh, watching film. That way the game slows down for me and I'm able to break down a lot more plays and stuff like that. So I think that goal is in reach now. When my kids look back at my college, they're gonna be like, okay, well, you're probably an athlete, so you probably didn't go to class. And then when I can show them my GPA and, and show them the provost award that I won my sophomore year, they'll be like, okay, no, you were, you were a serious student. I can show them, like, yeah, I really cared about school. I cared about sports. I cared about my family. And, and these are all things that I want you guys to care about because it'll help you live a successful life.